Just come out of surgery, three hour surgery at wonderful, superb Morpheus Eye Hospital. But unfortunately, I'm blind in my right eye, which was the only good eye. And I'm partially blind in the left eye, so I have to use magnifying glass for the left eye, walking stick, and I meant to spend most of the day with my head down on this pillow to try and bring the eyesight back. And um, then the district nurse comes four times a day to put in five different kinds of eye drops for the next two to three weeks. Um, and then, meanwhile, I'm trying to cope with the fact that I cannot get any mercy or pity or help from my cousin Nick Brown, nor all the people he mentions in his very, very poor letter. I find it extremely distressing. And, um, this is a moment of great crisis in my life, obviously, because the recovery will take, technically, between 8 and 12 weeks. Most, most of the time I have to spend here, and they gave me a medical certificate at Northfields saying that I'm un 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 unable to work, but I can only read it through the magnifying glass. Something they will renew. But the four district nurses are wonderful, and I have a carer, and then I had um, care in the community officer come to monitor it because I have to coordinate everything. And so I, here I am confined to my, to our, as I say, darling little house. And now I'll go back to the posturing and I'll see you in a few minutes when I will read out the contents of Nick Brown's quite extraordinary letter. Shut. I was in such pain last night that I had a very strange nightmare. I was walking down the park towards the house at Stoner and suddenly the field next door to me opened and a roaring torrent of earth and water out of which appeared several very vicious crocodiles. Need I say more? Well, I'm allowed to get up every hour, 10 minutes in the hour. Therefore, I can't basically cook. I can't do the laundry. I can't do my divine garden, which I'm in love with, of course. Um, I can't cook. I can't launder. I can't carry anything heavy. I can't um, do any of my work around the house as such. I can't write and I can't read. So I'm going to have a very dreary time hoping to recuperate well, going back on Thursday for another appointment. And uh, meanwhile, it would seem, judging from letters from my cousin Nicholas Brown and various members of my family, that they want me to be on the pavement. And it doesn't really matter what happens to me, which of course I find very distressing and terribly, terribly cruel and exceptionally unpleasant for my two excellent children who've done nobody any harm ever. And I'll explain to you in the next episode this extraordinary letter that came to me the day before I went into hospital. So, for the moment, it's rather, it's rather drab and certainly very alarming. But I'm trying my best to cope. Not aided or abetted in, in kindness by the Catholic hierarchy. They shame, I'm ashamed of them. I find them shaming, shaming. Um, and such betrayal and such disloyalty. So there you are, lovely people out there. Thank you, thank you. Love you all. Good night for the time being. Oh, where is this nurse? Very naughty.